All right. So <laughs> we've got Triple G, Greg Prendergast in the house. Uh, the reason they call him Triple G is he's always got 3K minimum in his pocket. Thanks for coming out, brother. You never know when you might find a good deal, bro. <laughs> I love it. Now, Ed Caulfield is en route. Did, did he's he say he, how he's soon? in the parking lot. Yeah. I, yeah. Seen him, oh. I could have sworn I saw him pull in. I might be mistaken. <laughs> okay, well, that's good. So we got Aaron's out there also. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I gotta get him in. I gotta check him out. Yeah. I'm gonna go get. I mean, uh, I got some really cool shirts too. You're gonna like the shirts. Well, I know. That's why I say I'll help you out. They're in there talking business. Yeah. Cool. 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 Ed is out in the parking lot. Oh, okay. I'm gonna hold up, John. I think I think you should wait, but I don't know. Looks like they're debating to find out whether they should wait for Ed to come in. I'm not sure what that matters, but for whatever reason, maybe they don't want to walk him through the door. All right, yes, all good. Okay. That's not out there. Right? Oh. I was listening for Oh, my bad, my bad. I could have sworn I seen him. He saw Aaron, though? Yeah, I did see Aaron. All right, Sean Lewis to break. Ten ball brings a powerful break. Boom. Spread wide open. With shape on the one. So, have anyone made a prediction? I did see a prediction of 13-10. Cla Todd Clement says... Paul, 13, Sean, 10. So he's the first one. He's got that score wrapped up. Brian Hinden says 13, 8, Sean. It's, this contest is good through the first game. There are no early 10s tonight. Left himself some distance. Yeah, we got a couple more predictions coming through. So to get from the two to the three, he is going to really have to put some mustard on this. You know, he's got enough angle to draw back to the center of the table, I think. I think he can just go forward also. Yeah, that works. It's a little long, but you don't always have to have perfect shape. Oh, Sophia, most of us know that Paul can, sh Paul can play. That's without a doubt. My boy Aaron Moss giving predictions from the parking lot. Sophia, you're supposed to be in route, honey. Not texting. <laughs> Pretty good shape there. Slightly tree-topped. Just going to roll forward a little bit, play the five in the same pocket, I assume. All right, so... Stacy, what's up, baby? So we are going to permanently use this ball set. You know, at the public spoke, and... They prefer these over the blacks. Personally, I do too. I'm I'm glad. I'm glad that we had the uh, sponsorship to have both. I mean, Aramith is the best ball. Ah, oh no, yeah, without a doubt. A tough miss there, and he left him dead out. Wow. Yeah. Eight's a little funky, but but not uh, oh, it not is. horrible. So I say he cheats the pocket to the right here to get a better angle on the six. I agree, because he does want to be below the six to get back on the seven. See that? Well, maybe we on our monitor we could clearly see that he cheated the pocket. I don't know what they saw. Well, you're about to find out, aren't you? 
run it. We can watch on an eight second delay or we can watch it live. <laughs> okay, getting on the eight. Really want to be, you know, a 10 degree angle maybe. You don't want to be straight in because I don't know that the nine passes the 10 in that corner where Sean is at now. But even then, you don't want to be on the rail. You. Yeah, you don't want to be shooting away from the nine, that's for sure. Yeah. I think that's going to work just fine. Really nice. Just roll up a little bit, play the nine in the corner. And the pitfall to avoid here is to follow too far past the nine. You want to be above the nine. The pros are always way above the nine because if you, ha if you get below it, then you got a scratch in the side pocket. Whereas if you're above it, there's no scratch ever. And yeah, he's above it. And straight is is good too. Well, because then you can just pass through the ten and play it in the side. This is such but an important I think, game. I think he just draws this back a little bit, plays the ten in the same uh, pocket. He can't he's not drawn. No. Opposite corner. It's a good stroke. But see, when you're above it, you've got options. Yeah. Put a good stroke on it. Yeah, you want to be straight in, especially on the first and or the last game. There's a little bit of pressure, a little more pressure in the first and the last, wouldn't you say? Oh yeah, agreed. Definitely it's makes a difference. Oh, I don't care. That's the time to hold it together. I don't know. This is so funny. We're doing new things. We're able to go live. How many viewers do we have? 62. Okay, so everything is working, but I was unable to share it to a bunch of groups now that I'm coming out of the Facebook. If, if you guys out there could share it to Northwest Billiards, P&WP Pool, uh, you know, the I Love Playing Pool group. Pool's Not Dead, Pool yeah. Peeps. Right. All of it. Just <laughs> share and share, because I normally do that. And right now, I can't even see the stream from my own Friday Night Lights Productions page. This is... Let me refresh. So, yeah, so I've been a little distracted. Sorry, I didn't expect to be commentating. Ed Caulfield's coming. You didn't hear? That's my sidekick. That's my boo bear. <laughs> yeah, we are really happy to have him. Oh, now I can see it. Oh, here you go, brother. Refreshing. Jim Roberts says the volume is low. Do you find a difference between Lee's voice and my voice, or just generally low? Okay. I am... Okay, I'm talking loud now. Is that too loud? Or I mean, is, is this too low? I don't know. I'm going to go li I'm going to check out the stream on from my phone with these. S hear it for myself. Yeah, they're saying uh, generally the volume's low. I'll be the judge of that. Well, we're definitely all about f constructive feedback. Oh, yeah. Uh, Thank you, Jim Roberts. Lee is always constantly trying to improve the show as much as he can. He puts in a lot of hard work, money, time, all of that. So if you have any critiques, send him to Lee Baldwin. Well, Mike, we j literally just got this soundboard today, and Mike is making adjustments as we go... You know, we couldn't test. C we, we have to go live publicly to test. I, I haven't figured everything out. So we're s Mike is sound checking right now. <sighs> well, we heard Paul just fine. <laughs> I, I'm listening to it now, and I'm thrilled that there's no more hissing sound. Oh yeah, and you can you can hear the background music now. Okay, back to the match. Mike will adjust the volume. So he 
he's got a... Oh. Oh, he's perfect. I didn't... E I thought he was going to hook himself there, but... He's totally in line. I don't know what angle he has here. I think he can play, draw back and play the seven in the side. That's yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I'm, it seems like he's a little hesitant because he doesn't necessarily want to fire it into the side. It goes in the side all day. Some tables, though, you don't know. But I can tell you in this table. Oh, wow. Yeah, see, he, did, he didn't like the side pocket. And unfortunately, it didn't roll well for him. You know, the secret to 10 ball, especially at our level, Greg, as we've seen on the chalk box stream, the, the, the secret to not losing is don't give up ball in hand when they're down to the last two, three, four balls. Yeah, I'm horrible about that. I'm one of the best five, six, seven ball run out kids there is. It's just <laughs> I give up the money. I lose focus. Uh, I don't see Sean lose, losing focus here. Sean, Sean's playing with. Sean's playing pretty loose today. I saw him warming up a little bit. He was hitting him good. I appreciate you guys sharing and uh, commenting. The more comments out there, the more the algorithm shares the stream around. Okay, this is a little bit of a little bit of a tester. You know, he's probably ninety-five percent, but I'm only you know, seventy. Yes. Money. Goes up 2 0. Oh, yes. yes. Ed well, there's Caulfield. Mr. Caulfield. There's my sugar bear. Did you start? <laughs> yeah, for me to do got good commentary, I, I can't be trying to figure out everything as I'm doing it. And here he comes. Yes. Well, it sounds like the volume is picked up in the headphones. So. Thank you, brother. What's up, baby boy? Well, that's why I don't live on your side of the bridge, because I don't like traffic. Junior, you can get 100 likes if you share the stream. Oh. All right, sorry I'm late, everybody. What's the score here? 2-0, Sean. Sean starting off strong. Yeah, um, Paul missed an unfortunate and <clears throat> missed a five ball that he's probably going to make 98% of the time. Sean ran out. Second rack, uh, Paul gets on the on the <laughs> six, plays a little shot down the rail, and it goes one rail into the back corner and scratches, and Sean runs out. That's all it takes with guys this skill level. Just an opportunity. And we're playing winter break, no early tens. I appreciate it, Joel. Thank you. We try to have a good time around here. We can't be serious all the time. If it was if it was serious, I wouldn't come back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Lee, Lee wouldn't let me commentate if it was too serious. <laughs> so you got a commentator's prediction for this match, Ed? Um, it's going to be tight either way. I think uh, Sean maybe by a game, two tops. Okay. I actually prefer 10 ball to 9 ball. Yeah, me too. Uh oh, there's your first Seth Rogen comment. Didn't take all about, what, 240 seconds? <laughs> oh, great hit. Is he going to get safe on top of it? It looks like it. If 
Paul opts to go airborne here. I wear black today because I see it's slimming. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, you got that nasty team on there. <laughs> <laughs> Makes good contact. Yeah, almost sunk that. A little steep, but he's trying to dodge the seven to get back on the two. He could also play safe here. Calls the bank. Yeah, might be doing it two way. Yeah. Jerry, you still having a hard time hearing, buddy? Makes it short. Ooh. That's not a hanger, but I think he's favored to make this ball. Yeah, that background music is kind of a trip <laughs> now that we can hear it. Yeah, somebody called and the 80s wants their music back. Yeah. Hey, if you if you appreciate the background music, let us know in the in the comment section. Kenny Stone in the building. How you doing, brother? I agree, Stacy. I, I kind of feel like I'm at a cheap magician show. <laughs> <laughs> the <laughs> Batman and Robin. <laughs> it's the Triple G and E show coming to you live <laughs> to, from Baldwin's Billiards Room. I guess at least it's not smooth jazz that they're playing. You right. Because then I'd have to slip my wrists. Yeah. Paul's looking at his angle here. You know he's got to put a good stroke on that to get under the seven for the four ball there. Bo, what up, my boy? Interesting. Yeah, that's... I think he fell short by about a foot. Spin here if he's calling the 10. Oh, straight wow. in. Wow, stuck it. Money. I see that. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Bob. <laughs> I'm not going to argue with you right on that one there, uh, <laughs> Bob. <at> a, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not as bad as a cattle prod to the taint, but, you know. <laughs> <laughs> little inside follow there. Get back to the center of the table. Done over a little bit. He's dead straight on the eight. Yeah, 
Like I said, man, you didn't get to see Sean practicing, but he was hitting him pretty dang good. Oh, I know at home he's got a table. I think he's got four-inch pockets. Get that good. As long as he's not too straight here. I think he's just going to go one rail, come back down for the 10. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Daniel Sergeant Cilio's on there. What up, Daniel, my guy? Boy, I almost got lucky against him last night, man. I just couldn't hold it together. Yeah, you can't give him any opportunities. Well, it's, man. If I'd have just held my composure. Cassandra says they're four and a quarter inch pockets. There's my baby. What's up, Cassandra? This match is being played with the Aramith Tournament Pro Cup set, featuring a unique molecular structure it guarantees razor-sharp precision and unsurpassed longevity. Unquestionably, the best pool balls in the world. This set is available in the TV and value pack version, as well as in the My Aramith Ball and Q cases. Now you can bring and play with the best ball set everywhere you go. My Aramith, bringing you dimensions to your billiard experience. Now we were at 3 0, Sean. So, is the rack rules 2 and 3 on the corners? No, they actually said that uh, they don't mind uh, the randomness. They might have changed their mind after that because I did see the 2 and 3 in the back there. But uh, in the, prior to the, to the lag, they were talking about that neither one of them cared. Yeah, I've played in some tournaments where they, they didn't care, but it's just habit for me. I've been doing it so long, yeah. two and three on the corners, it just right. winds up that way. I mean, it's not like I'm running out of ten ball very often on a nine-footer <laughs> anyways, but hey, just in case, I don't want to be accused of being a cheater. <laughs> <laughs> well, the only way you ran out is because the three was up there on the wing ball. <laughs> uh, Patrick, I am not sure. I was told that uh, it didn't necessarily matter, is what I was told. One million dollars. <laughs> U.S. <laughs> A little hard. He was trying to tuck him under the four there, it looked like. He's got, got a good look at it, but it's he's on the rail, and, and that's a tough shot. Then he's going to have to go over and back to get on the deuce. Oh, wow. Use, use the eight, eight ball. Yeah, Smart. use the eight for a stop there. <sighs> That was my second choice. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. <laughs> you never know, Patrick. You never know, buddy. Yeah, especially since Triple G is on a watch list. We, you know, we got to be careful. Wow. Ooh, that was unexpected. Lee was already poking fun at me for having a lopsided wallet. <laughs> <laughs> I work hard. What can I tell you? Lots of insides in here, so he's looking to cut it. Good shot. Pushes the four up. Still okay. Doesn't look like that five goes by the ten in the upper corner there. So I'm curious to see what he does here. Possibly have have to get under the five. Might be able to get 
in between, you know, get a window between the eight and the six, I guess. Yeah, I think that's the only place he's going to be to play it in that corner because, yeah, I don't think it passes the 10. If that's the case, he's going to have to bank it or cut it and go back and forth across the long rails. Ooh, good God. Whammo, blammo. Or you, can, or you can just do it that way. Whammo, blammo. <laughs> Nudged it just enough to... Now he can see either corner. Boy, you put a nice stroke on that one. Hit it good. Yeah, it looks like he's got the six on the side. Cut it just a hair. Back it, Stacy. Put it together. <laughs> we'll watch. But judging by the hesitation on the six, I'm assuming that uh, he might have to play this in the corner. Yep. I think the eight might just be in the way. Play safe, puts him on the short rail. There you go, Haley. That's what I'm talking about. I wish I had some cake. They don't feed us here. <laughs> <laughs> As you can tell by looking at me on camera, I also love cake. <laughs> Ed ate before he got here twice. <laughs> Try to get underneath that eight ball. Oh. Ooh. I think Sean might, might like this. Center ball. Come straight down on the eight ball. Eight in the corner. The nine's a little tricky. But if you can get, you know, 10, 15 degrees, it's workable. No, no, Stacy. You don't know Lee well enough. He don't want food nowhere near this table. <laughs> I've offered to have pizza parties and pay for the pizza a couple of times. He's like, no, no, no. Appreciate the gesture, but that's not going to happen. Yeah, they frown upon uh, pizza sauce and shit on the microphones. <laughs> <laughs> What I need is, I just need a, a pretty young girl to feed me grapes. <laughs> <laughs> what a shot that was. Hell of a stroke. Stroke the hell out of that. And he's going to be able to get over there. Play that down here in the, in the corner. It's looking good. Ed Cousins, a DoorDash driver. Just call him. Have him hand it to you over the fence. <laughs> Oh, my cousin Dave, yeah, he drives for DoorDash or Uber, one of them goofy things. I don't know, hell. JP Webb, what up, my guy? Look at this guy. Sean is playing too good. I know he's been spending a lot of time on the table lately. little awkward queuing over that pocket, but I think he's all right. Nice money. Swish. Looking at 4-0. Hey, so I want to thank Patrick Nix of Chalkbox fame for your continued support. We are showing your Chalkbox uh, logo on the screen. Uh, what a great show. Patrick, if you could pipe in the chat uh, 
how people can see your next show and when it is. Just give us some of the details. And thanks again for all your support, brother. Oh, also, thanks to Stephen Ells, V-Man, Patrick Nick, Stacy Medina, Josh Carlson for your raffle support. I will make sure I get everyone's, I promise. But um, you'll either see me thank you in the chat or you're, you'll hear me t- thank you. You'd be very much appreciated. That's right. Keeps this thing going. Yeah, you're like, other than fat bottom girls, you pretty much make the world go around. <laughs> <laughs> That's my theme song. <laughs> Check out this guy's break, dude. Just splatters him. Jesus. Yeah. Get some of that. That one wasn't quite as controlled as his last three, but... <laughs> Just pasted him. <clears throat> so he does have a shot on the one here. Kind of tight, tied up against that rail there, but he's got a full pocket in the side. Paul Marquez plays out of uh, Northern Oregon. And Sean Lewis, I'm not 100% sure where he's at nowadays. He's in Tacoma. Okay. Ops for the safe. I do know that Sean is also offering lessons. Um, yeah, and one of the prizes tonight is a, is a lesson from, uh, okay. from Sean as well. And you also have the chance to win a lesson from Paul. And if you can't make it to Oregon, you're welcome to uh, opt for a lesson with Lee. I actually took a lesson from uh, Sean. Just had an intro one and a couple of things because I wanted to see what his opinion of where my game was at. And he told you it was broken, get it fixed? Pretty much, yeah. (laughs) (laughs) He told me the same thing that uh, most of the players tell me. It's, well, you just suck. That's the (laughs) problem. Well, he got fortunate there. I mean, he made a good hit, but he got fortunate to get stuck to the two there. Yeah. V-Man, yes. This is in Kitsap County in Bremerton, Washington. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. I took a, I played uh, Jeff DeLuna a couple of sets down in California, and afterwards he asked if I would like some advice, and I was absolutely, I mean, the guy's a world-class yeah. player. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, if you could show me how to draw 16 feet, that'd be cool, because I've seen you do it. <laughs> so he tells me that your stance is good. And, of course, he's got that real heavy accent because he's from the Philippines and yeah. English is a second language. And he's like, stroke is good, ball potting good, your white ball is no good. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, that, we, we can see that. Can you tell me how to fix that? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I play shape, but it's pretty much, okay, so we're shooting from here. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, Eddie Mattia asked me one time how I got so good at jumping. I was like, because I suck at getting position. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Sean's got ball in hand here. Paul wasn't able to uh, kick it to one. He's in a pretty tough spot. Yeah, he was locked up on that ball. So he'd... Yeah, table looks pretty good, though. I think that uh, Sean can maneuver around this just fine. He's going to go one rail, come up between the seven, seven and two. Ooh, well, I got that, that a little there. short. Does he play safe or does he bank it? And if he's going for the bank, he's going all in. Yeah. yeah. He may get fortunate. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, he did. <coughs> now, the two is in the jaws. Obviously, you see that. Uh, but he is going to have to kick at it. It's a little far to jump. But uh, he could bend it around the seven if he chooses to. It's all about his style. Oh, it's only a four and a half foot jump. What do you mean? Has yeah. <laughs> this thing got an air piston in it? <laughs> 
Great shot. Great shot. Hits it thin enough with spin to get out of there. Gets a little tight on the five, but that's probably about the best he could hope for. Yeah, he's gonna have to play the combo because of the angle on that. That's gonna be t or the carom. I mean, yeah, go into the three. I, I'm, I would see. I would. I would venture to think he's gonna play the carom. <clears throat> Wow. Oh, and it hung up. Man. Dang it. Somebody check that pocket, make sure it's regulation. Good Lord. I know Paul is a monster. He's just having a tough night so far. Plenty of pool left, but down 4 0 to Sean is no easy feat. Can't quite tell if that nine's in his way or not. Or if he's gonna have to bank and play the four. Well, Jeez. play the safe. I don't think he got there. I think he left him a wide, wide window here. It's a little thin on the front side. Well, you need to play the three down and hope he can stay in that window for the four ball there between the uh, ten and the what is that the yeah seven? I think that's plenty doable there. Yeah, it's it's a good size window for him. For me, it, not so much. I need all those balls out of the way. Randy, my buddy. Thanks for tuning in, bro. Oh, he did overrun it. I personally want nine foot shots every time. That's what I go for. Right? <laughs> I mean, well, how else are you going to get good at them? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'd want it on the rail, though. I want, yeah. the, I want the cue ball on the rail. I, mean, I figure yeah. if you're going to leave me like that, I might as well leave myself and practice it. <laughs> well, he was able to see it, though. And he's still okay. Now, can he hold it above the seven, or is he going to go down to the end rail and back? Corner. Oh, he Close. calls it in the corner. Wow. So he wants to be able to stay there for the six. This is such a touchy shot. It's a perfect. Perfect. Come off the edge of the six and just float over for the seven in the side, I think. I mean, look, this guy's playing virtually flawless. You got a chance to get a 90-minute lesson from this guy. Raffle tickets, folks. Yeah. He's... He's favored to get out here. <clears throat> Building a hill for Paul. Perfect. Yep. Needs a little angle on the nine here. Yeah, his uh, speed his speed is in impeccable for never playing on this table before. A little bit of inside there, and he's perfect on the ten. Yeah, I agree, Patrick. Money. This guy's got his Fight Club shirt on. He ain't pulling no punches, folks. <laughs> Picking them up and putting them down. There was a comment earlier that these guys are close friends and they could be chopping. I don't know. <laughs> Steamrolling, maybe. <laughs> 
He's like, look, man, I got shit to do by nine, all right? Yeah. <laughs> Get this over with. I haven't eaten dinner yet. Yeah. You know? <laughs> There's your chance right there for lessons. You can get a lesson. There's three of the greatest. Real quick, I want to thank Christine Mounts for your raffle support. And also, uh, Ed did bring, we're going to be giving away a Spire glove and a bridge, one of those clear bridge heads, and a, uh, a, a scuffer. What do you call that scuffer? Just a shaper. The, the, okay. Yeah, it's, um, it's a tip tool, man. It's a nice tip tool. <laughs> you get all three. That'll be another raffle prize. Oh, you caught me on camera fueling up. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he took a little off of that break. He, d- he did. Yeah. He got great shape on the one, and he got a ball, so. Yeah, and, and uh, position from the one to the two is good. Maybe draw back just a little bit so you can be above the two, be able to play off the short rail and get up on the three. He might opt to get slightly low of the two ball. And yeah, just float up rail. Shane, uh, Shane. Sean is a very cerebral player. He, him and I have had a lot of conversations. He calls it his chair game, where it's, you know, yeah. the way your mind is when you're not at the table and bringing that to the table. It's pretty intense listening to him. He's got a lot of great advice. That was, I mean, I, I did, that's one option I didn't see, you know. But it made me look like shit, Sean. Thanks. I didn't want to say anything. Yeah, listen, we there's a reason why I don't charge for lessons, okay? If you take advice from me, it's your own damn fault, all right? Hit that one good, too. Good speed. Got a nice little angle yeah, on it. Yeah, come right back out. Play the four down here in the corner. Slightly stretched out. Ooh. Use the whole pocket. Yeah. James DeV. Can't wait to see you in a couple weeks, brother. Welcome to the show. Another great stroke. Gets right back online. Now, the six does go by the nine, but it does not look like it goes past the seven. I wouldn't imagine he's going to intentionally play that safe. I mean, that uh, combination out there. So he's going to want to go either back and forth and get on the five ball side of the six. He's going to play it up in the side pocket. Mm, It's a little tight. I mean, maybe for me, maybe not for him. Money. With speed to get back above it. Right back on line. Thank you, Christine. We try. <laughs> Looks can be deceiving. Do some top, come right back down table one rail. Ooh. Ooh. Used all four and a half of that pocket. is again money still throwing haymakers it would appear as if sean has played this game a couple times before yeah you know actually i heard tonight was his first night but he did watch a couple of youtube videos on the way here oh that's good yeah
quickly. Sharp Q Repair and Supply. The South End's answer All for right, Q Repair, offering tip and ferrule replacement, shaft cleaning and sealing, linen wrap replacement, and so much more. Want a custom jump queue? Look no further. Contact info is on the Facebook page, Sharp Q. That's Sharp Q, the South End's answer to Q Repair. Until he's not down under shock. Until these guys, we don't have sound. Hello, 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 hello. Okay, they can hear us. Mic check accomplished. We were whispering sweet nothings to each other, and we didn't want y'all to hear it, okay? Mind your business. <laughs> Don't be hating. <laughs> Hate the player, not the game. We're going to stop meeting like this. People are going to talk. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we're going to be on a meme someday. <laughs> Daisy, baby, you know how that works. You want to get on the show? Buy raffle tickets. <laughs> I think Jeff Jerome's still playing a lot of golf. Last I heard, he sold his table and was not uh, playing a whole lot of pool anymore. A hell of a shooter, though. Patrick, you don't want to play the meme game with me, sir. I promise. <laughs> you can pull out all that stuff that got you kicked off of Facebook. Yeah, I will pull. I will put your face in all kinds of silly shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, he got a little out of line here, but <clears throat> as long as he stays above that seven, he'll be okay. Yeah, it's hard to jump back in and, and get a stroke when you've been sitting a while. Get a roll just one time. Oh, we did. Got just enough window, just, I think. Just a little bump there. Give him the six. Just show some fight, motherfucker. That's all I care about. Here. There we 
go. <sighs> then he got a little straighter than he wanted, maybe. But here's put a little stroke on this and get back in the game. You hit that one nice. Yeah, that'll work, man. That'll make the bleeding stop. Now we get to see Paul's break. There you go. <laughs> He's on the board. Victorious. He's happy about it. Quit. Let's <laughs> <laughs> go home. I'm so tight. I can't believe it. And you're playing great. Look, so it doesn't help. Yeah, I, I, I just cut those. God. Irritating. So I guess I just have to grind. Let's see what happens. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear them talking in there, but Paul's talking about grinding. And I've seen Paul play quite a bit on live stream. Not recently, but last year. Uh, oh. And the guy, the guy can flat out play, man. Well, with a winter break format, you know, players of this skill are never out of it. Oh yeah, for sure. He does putt the three. You can see the one, but yeah, no makeable shot. I'm thinking that one's going to get clipped and stuck behind the four. The cue ball is going to go two rails down below the seven. Actually, you got enough angle there. You might be able to get below the, the five, two, and eight. Mm. Not quite. Hmm. He came up on his uh, shot there a little bit. Didn't stroke through yeah, it. Yeah, he did. And as a result, he got that a little thicker than he wanted to. Patrick, I'll take that $50 bet on Nemo, but we got to put Lee's fish in my fish tank. <laughs> <laughs> Good speed control. Yeah. Got to get back down to the four, though. Who's topping this ball? Yeah, go for it. Patrick, bring all of them, bro. I got Moby Dick in my tank. My tank is about, uh, I don't know, 10 or 11. So 10 or 11 of uh, Lee's tanks. <laughs> I got plenty of fish. We'll just pick of them. <laughs> <coughs> That's the one pet I don't have at my house right now. Yeah, I once had 14 betas in it at once. <laughs> I'm kind of cruel. Oh, Great nice shot. shot. Nice shot. And oh, he's going to be jumping. Gets unfortunate there. Pushes that eight right into his path. Nine ball. Yeah. But this is a pretty, pretty routine jump, I think. And the nine's there, so if he just gets an edge of the five. Oh, he's going to mess it. Maybe. Decisions are being made. <laughs> <laughs> it's a need to know only, basically. Yeah. <laughs> 
He does he does have to go for the short stick. Eighty five viewers, folks. We appreciate you. Let's get a few more shares out there. See how many more people see if we can get to a hundred in the next ten minutes. Great shot. Now we just gotta get sheep and don't put that cue away yet. Going for the kick. Yeah. Now does he try to if he's trying to make it as opposed to just hit it, is he playing it in the corner where he's at or is he playing it off the six? Well he's gotta play it off the six. It's widen the pocket up. I think he called it down there. Yeah, I thought maybe he would <clears throat> it was fairly natural to come behind it and hit it full towards that corner where he was standing. I would have just been trying to hit it. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me, yeah, most definitely. Me too, bro. Me too. Just touch it so I don't give him a ball in the hand. Yeah. <laughs> just don't hit anything. He's good. All right. Paul's got a chance here to put two in a row. Climb back in the game. I know Patrick Nix is liking that. Chad's kind of quiet. Where's all my Friday Night Light fans at? Oh, I get it. You guys aren't here for this match. You guys are here for the Becky with the good hair match. <laughs> <laughs> and Paul's able to capitalize here. That's two in a row. Here we go. <clears throat> Don't call it a comeback. We've got eighty six, eighty five. 86, 85, 86, 85 viewers and 43 shares. There we go. Becky with the good hair coming up next. The winner gets a one month supply of leave in conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> And some detangler. <laughs> <laughs> Crushed it. Uh, that's going to be James DeVee and Blake Baker on the next Friday Night Lights. If you win the main... Uh, if you win the main prize for the raffle drawing tonight, you will be on that feed. That's going to be a heck of a matchup. Oh, yeah. I'm, I can't remember what the race is to, but I'd like to see, like, a race to 17, 19, 21, somewhere in there. Mm-hmm. They play fast enough. Blake does, for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah there, there's no grass run underneath him. Yeah. <laughs> safe oh put some tight on the two ball there two rail kick into it yeah if he's able to come full face behind it he can stick he can kick and stick right there gave him an open shot Wide open. 
happen. Mm. They kind of chicken wing that a little yeah. bit. I think we're going to see the six go down. Six more. Kelso Woodwick and Jeff Oster watching. Good to see you guys on there. Kelso, you got to love that dude. I just <laughs> seen him on Thursday. He's like a cartoon character. Isn't I love he? that guy, dude. <laughs> you cannot be in a bad mood and in, in, in the vicinity of Kelso Woodwick at the same time. <laughs> He's been putting in work on the table, too. Yeah. That's good. Sorry, Aaron. You have to buy your own comb, bro. We we're only allotted so many prizes. <laughs> <laughs> like that Chuck E. Cheese uh, ticket thing. You get a mustache comb. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they didn't get the best shape on the one. No, it is tough, but there's a couple safe opportunities here. Where we can't have nice things. Right. If you guys didn't hear that, Sean just backed into a mirror. <laughs> Ooh, might have leaked out a little bit. Yeah, really can't can. make it, but he. Yeah, I think catch that edge. Able to get a good edge here, yeah. Cue ball come two rails back down. Ninety-eight viewers, two more to a hundred. Come on, let's get hey, a people. Hey, there we go, there we go. Oh, he does get a hit and a little kiss. <laughs> Fortunate. The pool gods are happy. Switch into the left hand. Ooh. Ooh. Close, no cookie. So now for the third rack in a row. <coughs> Paul has a chance here. Put another one up on the board and close the gap. Try to hold to play that three in the side or come over for a three in the corner. Yeah, I think he tries to hold it. Oh. And mistaken. It's going to stun this over, so he's got a shot at the four. Oh. oh tough. Tough break. Now, it looks like that 10 might just be out in the way just enough.
chain behind it. Gives Paul another opportunity here. A little bit of distance. <clears throat> Pretty straight too, but... I think up. there's enough angle there to where he can force follow it. Put a great stroke on it. Oh, mm. that one hurts. Didn't work out. Needed, needed it to widen up just a little bit there. out if Sean's willing to bank it or not. He could cut it down to the corner, but it's a tough shot and getting shapes even harder. I think the bank gives him a better opportunity. Yeah, agreed, because it doesn't look like that five goes by the eight. So he's going to want to try to hold the ball. Save. for the save. Says Paul, I've given you a few too many chances than my liking. You got to earn this one, buddy. Cuttable. And now the five does go by the eight. Yeah, that will work. That will work. Why is it when they run into balls, it works out? When I run into balls, I'm yeah. trapped behind it. <laughs> and three others. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, that's great if you yeah. really like giving your money away. I think you'll probably just stop this shot. Mm. Well, Haley, that's not very nice. <laughs> <laughs> he says he'll give you the seven out, though. <laughs> <laughs> she just got her first pool cue. I saw the case, the voodoo case. Yeah, she got a uh, Viking that's all pink. shot I think Sean said hey Paul that's that's enough of that well, I had a bit of a safety battle there Let's so. see if I can't put another one on the board for myself Oh, 
I'd be willing to bet he's out from here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's pretty favored. But your commentator cursed him. Look at him, 50-50. Jerry, are you having a problem hearing us, buddy? <clears throat> Sometimes I mumble. Okay, so maybe it's not 50-50. Maybe it's like 49-51. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's going to like that. He did get some distance. Yeah. And for these guys of that caliber, that's... I wouldn't say it's a gimme, but it's not necessarily the end-all, be-all either. Yeah, this one, so <laughs> yeah, one he's got to bear down and stay focused and stroke through it. There it is. He does make that one. Might speed a little bit. He just wanted a challenge. That was what it was. Right. Introducing the new Spire Apex Carbon Fiber Shaft. This revolutionary white carbon joint system allows for quick and easy changes to fit any cue. The Apex features the latest in composite tubular process technology and materials at an affordable price. Visit Golden West Games in Tacoma for all your Spire equipment and elevate your game. I want to thank our sponsor, Spire Cues from Golden West Games. Uh, it's a shaft that I shoot with. It shoots great. So thank you very much to Golden West Games. I now own one, so I'll give you a colorful review in about a week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thanks to the guys at uh, Golden West Games and Steve Dish. Junior, Sergeant Silio is watching. How you doing, Junior? Got seven to two. There. Sean is halfway through the set. Ooh. Oh. Oh. <laughs> scratch on the break. Wide open. I'm sure Paul's not mad about this. The optic loss came off really weird, too. His table's wide open now. Ooh. That was close. <clears throat> Buckle down. Buckle down, Paul. You know you can play. He's in there talking to himself. Yeah, trying to hype himself up. Yeah. yeah he got a little sharp on this, so he's going to have to go down and back, I think, get on the five. Honestly, I wouldn't know what to do here. I'd probably draw it. Just end up being more comfortable drawing. 
I'd, shoot prob- him. I'd probably put a little bit of just a touch at top right and try to miss the 10 ball. And I'd have been wrong. <laughs> Are you saying Paul's got a better truck than you? <laughs> <laughs> just a scotch. You know? <laughs> you know, if he's a 10, I'm like a, a solid four and a half. <laughs> He's keeping his head about him, though. He didn't yeah, fire at something yeah. stupid. You know, he's playing smart. Let's see what Sean comes up with here. <clears throat> Just a little tappy tappy. So do you take that and you deal with it. <laughs> you yeah. left it there, it's your problem. Well, and that's fine, but I think that Paul now, you know, thins the five. He goes two rails back down, possibly three rails. Yeah, tries to put it behind the eight. Yeah. Brian Anderson, we are at uh, Baldwin's Billiards in Bremerton, Washington. Say that seven times fast. Oh, looks like it, looks rolled like rolled like it leaked out. Long and straight. Money. That six must go by. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it definitely goes by. We'll try to run into the side rail, come out for the seven. short yeah not everybody has daniel's height they can stretch all the way across that table right you happen to know what q sean plays with i do not it's a good looking q whatever it is I'm sure he's told me, but I got a memory that ain't worth a shit. Yeah, me too, but I think it's because of cannabis. <laughs> <laughs> Mine's from head trauma. <laughs> that was a nice shot. Guy's hitting them good, man. 90 minute listen starting to sound good. Float down, play the 10 on the side. I just stun it over. I didn't think you were straight enough to do that. And I'm not saying anything about this 10. <laughs> Too good. Too good. Short break. We're going to take a little player break for a minute. tuning in we just want to talk about the raffle thanks again to everyone that supported us helped us get this soundboard that got rid of that hissing noise we just got it today so we're still perfecting everything with it we do believe we'll be able to get louder tonight we're giving away this magnetic chalk holder this is really cool there's a lot of different colors you can get it in um 
We've got a spire glove, the one I'm uh, wearing, a, a clear bridge, which I have. This is the spire clear bridge, so you can actually see the balls through it. And then we've actually got a scuffer, a spire scuffer, which is this guy right here, $25 value. Uh, I bought one of these uh, for $50 from a different company, same exact product. You, you, one winner is going to get all three of those prizes at once. We're doing the Sean Lewis lesson. Uh, we're doing the Paul lesson. Or if you're in Washington, you can take one from me. You get to come and see the studio. Um, that was Paul Marquez's lesson for those of you in Oregon. Uh, you can win one of Paul Marquez's hoodies. Um, super cool hoodie. He was wearing it earlier. And now, for those of you that, that didn't see this at the beginning, in two weeks, July 1st, this epic matchup, we're having Blake Baker versus James DeVee race to 21 for $4,000 in the middle. If you win the, pri the grand prize, you get a chance to win $200 with your own match after the James Blake match, and you get a, a front row seat. Uh, it's the best prize we've ever had, frankly. I mean, this group of prizes. So send the raffle tickets. We're going to do the raffle immediately after the Sophia Tran Aaron Moss match. Let's get back to the action. I'm going to take it back to you guys. And we're back. I finally turned my mic back on. I was on punishment. <laughs> Time out. <laughs> Greg, you go sit in the corner. <laughs> Whether you want to or not. <laughs> so now it is 8-2 with Sean Brakin. Paul needs to come alive. Try break. I got nine Shot. balls. Spoiled the party, though. Hey, that's not where it was. I think it was an eighth of an inch to the left. Yeah, it was way down there by the corner pocket. I seen it. <laughs> oh, he must have gotten a ball on the break. I didn't see it go in. I did not either, but it looks to be... Uh... He moved the five where he wanted it. Yeah. <laughs> now it's down by the corner. <laughs> He heard you. <laughs> a little collaboration we had on the right over. <laughs> Dude, if you got a chance to move the three, bro, do it. <laughs> Strategery. <laughs> yeah, Jeffrey, uh, I agree with that. And we have done that in the past. It just hasn't been a staple of part of the show. But I think it would be... Uh, I think it would be a good addition. Oh, how good did he hit it? He hit that pretty dang good. I think he can spin off the long rail there into it, but that was a really good shot. Push out again. <laughs> Just tell him the rack's in the way and move the seven. <laughs> <laughs> Playing with amateurs, and they're like, "So I get a, I get a, a bumper space off the rail, right?" <laughs> Safe. Good hit. Is it going in the corner? Oh, he did call safe though, so that sure. will be option. <laughs> Paul has the opportunity to uh, make him play it where it no, lies, or, <laughs> or he himself can play it where it, as it lies. Just a matter of you can see enough of it to get a good hit on it. And he has accepted it. Says, no, no, I saw you kick the last one, buddy. <laughs> you ain't getting this one.
Ooh. Ooh. I did not see that happening. I didn't either. Well, I could be in trouble in this rack. Yeah, it looks like the harder shot is going to be the uh, five to the six. Oh, it slowed down, slowed down quicker than I thought it was going to. it in there to get that follow and jammed it out of the pocket. Uh, Jim Roberts, that's a good question. I'm honestly not sure if they're doing uh, three foul or not. <coughs> I'll shoot the combo. I would assume so, but then I would just be doing that, assuming. Paul shooting the combo. Contemplating, but uh, personally, I think I would try to thin the four, get the cue ball down table. Optimally, I'm trying to put the four behind the ten. It leaks out a little bit, gets behind the seven. That's okay too. That's exactly what he did. Shot. <coughs> I think you can see just the edge of that, but I, there's no make, uh, no shot to, to sink that for. It's a great shot because that's what I would have done, and now I feel like a professional. Ed. <laughs> if you want lessons, let me know. I'll give you a call. <laughs> <laughs> Is your number still 911? <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> yeah, if you're paying me for lessons, you're getting robbed. <laughs> <laughs> that five creep out in the way just enough, or can he see enough uh, of that four to make it? I from what I can tell, it looks like he could see an edge. It is tough to see the angle from here, though. Yeah, I can't tell if he can spin that in or if he can just catch the edge of it to play a safety. Yeah, I don't think he can spin There's not enough ball there to spin it in. He might be able to clip it, but I don't know. I think he's just trying to get a hit. I, don't, I personally don't see a safe from here. distance at best. Yeah, he obviously can't see enough to make it. Safe. You try to put the cue by the 10 ball? or No, he did get a little more of that 4 than I thought he was going to. Mm. He did call safe, but he didn't quite get there. He's trying to get behind the 10 there and the 6.
I really need to get out here. Yeah, this is one of those games that it can be a real either or make or miss. Can get his rhythm going or put him in a deeper hole. And this, I think, is the shot of the rack to get on that six. Oh, that's really close. Yeah, I can't quite see if he can get past that or not. I think he can throw it just a little bit. He's chalking up like he's got enough of it to make it. Yeah, nicely done. Good shot. Paul's angry at that chalk. <laughs> <laughs> well, he got kind of on the wrong side of the nine here. He can either just roll forward and take take what the table gives him, or he can force shape, go three rails, and get back around. Oh, oh wow! Man, right in a drink. Son of a. Tough break for Paul Marquez. Yeah, that's that's heartbreaking there. Unfortunately, we've all done crap like that. Oh, yeah. There's your info for the raffle. Get on it, people. Lessons in equipment. And a spot on the show, of course. Who doesn't want to play in the... I mean, you could headline for James DeVee and Blake Baker. Like, <laughs> come on. If I get drawn for the raffle, you, how about you and me, Triple G? I'm down, bro. Let's hit it. You know I'm with it. Hell yeah. We'll play in kilts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Might have to get mine a little longer than yours. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good square break. A bit of distance on the one, but I think it goes by the two there. I couldn't imagine he's going to play the seven. He's going to play the two, roll down off the long rail, shape on the two to get him back down table to the three it's like a drill back and forth up and down great shot Beautiful. he's gonna have a good angle here off the deuce to get back up there for the three yeah. stacy i'm irish don't don't tempt me i ain't scared <laughs> <laughs> i'm irish and indian so it's so am i yeah <laughs> Loincloths and kilts. Yeah. Know. <laughs> like my OnlyFans account, they pay me to keep my clothes on. Yeah. <laughs> Stacy, you, <laughs> you're gonna get me in trouble. Stop it. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad I won't be alone in hell. <laughs> <laughs> Danny Turner cheering on Paul. He needs it, brother. And you're right. I've seen him come from behind. It's not over yet. There's still quite a bit of pool left to play, that's for sure. Yeah, like I said, with the... Uh 
winter break format. It ain't over till it's over. Well, I mean, the roles could reverse. I mean, Sean gets a couple unfortunate roles, dogs a ball or two, and Mark comes out of his shell. It's next thing you know, it's eleven eleven. You know yep. what I mean? We've seen it happen many times. Oh yeah. <coughs> Little tester here. Gotta put a good stroke on this ball. Yes, Danny. I would uh, tend to agree with you. This table plays fast, but it's not fast, fast. Like most nine foot tables. Yeah, the, the bed cloth is pretty quick. The, the rails seem to absorb a little bit more than the nine foot I've got at home. Yeah, my rails are a little bit more lively. Ooh, jacked Ooh, up over a ball. Tree topped. I think he's just going to try to slow roll this in and just yeah. take his medicine on the eight. Maybe. I mean, he has, he has came through with some... <coughs> With a little, little pizzazz in a couple of situations. What a shot. Wow, he put some ass oh. on that. Don't think he's going to like the uh, results, yeah. but. I think he can play that in the corner, though. It's not that it's an easy shot, but there is a shot there. Yeah, I can't see if he sees enough of it to put it in the side pocket or not. We're fixing to find out. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck around and find <laughs> out real quick. <laughs> doesn't have to force it in the side he can just roll up the nines right there two-way shot it'll be interesting to see what Paul does here Bank uh, can take on the bank, I think. Nope. Got Homero Flores watching. Thanks for tuning in, Homero. Pretty routine from here. Like Sean just uh, aimed there. Just got to miss the side pocket. A little bit of uh, bottom right. This got shot always scares the hell out of me up here. I'm going to go in the drink. Oh. Oh. You're going to get fortunate? Yeah, he does get away with it. Looks like a, a good shot at the at the bank though <clears throat> yeah, I have to shorten it up just a touch and but he's uh, uh, he's shown in, in a few instances tonight he's not afraid to bank he just got to dial it in oh he's getting closer <laughs> this table does bank just a little bit short Yeah, I thought it banked pretty well when I played on it. I had a couple nice bank shots. Yeah, actually, I do. I do remember you making a couple of bank, good banks. Just had to get used to it. it. Does shorten a little bit. It's not horrible, but get out of the side. Oh, wow! Oh my goodness! Mm. 
Well, as of right now, the pool gods are very happy with uh, Sean Lewis. <laughs> mm. I think you can put cut that back, back cut that into the corner, but the cue ball is going to be uh, yeah, kind of getting be, squirrely. It'd be traveling. Yeah. Pack its bags. All right. For my next shot, seven rails, shape on the ten. <laughs> or just hit it perfect. Wow. <laughs> That's just insane. My goodness. God. That is not how I would have played that. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, uh, if you have a good stroke and you're above a, you know, 650, you can do stuff like that. Okay. That was just beautifully executed. That really was. Sean, Sean hangs in there to take another rack. It is now 10-2. Sophia Tran is in the building. Looks like she brought and pizza. She brought, <laughs> she brought Lee's favorite <laughs> tomato sauce. Total accident. I remember this. Oh my god. Bill. You think Sean's going to put a little more pop on this one? I think so. You seem to be. It seemed like the last one he hit it. He hit it pretty square and put just a tiny bit more. I think that. Uh, in the beginning of the set, he was really crushing it, and he was making a ball and getting shape. So, and he hit that one pretty, pretty yeah, stiff. Pretty Again, stiff second rack in a row where the cue ball comes straight back to the center diamond. Unfortunately, he does not get shape on the one, so he will be pushing. You ever push out and scratch? I don't think that I have. I actually have done that one time. I pushed out and it glanced off the edge of a ball. I was trying to get behind it. Now and that is <laughs> fucking talent, Ed Caulfield. I'm the I'm the I, Efren Reyes of scratching. I, <laughs> I have I have missed ball in hand <laughs> a couple of times, and not necessarily like trying to get a crazy breakout, like you know a pretty routine, ninety nine percent makeable shot. You know, thousand tries, I'm making it nine hundred times at least. <laughs> Dog it. <laughs> Son of a gun. So embarrassing. You're like, wow, dude, you're really a 550? <laughs> then you wind up with a handicap placard in your car after they find that out. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> he, that's my Indian name. He, he who parks close. <laughs> <laughs> that was a really good save by Sean there. Almost went for nothing because that eight just about dropped. A little kick safe here. Oh, you could see that. Yeah, he did have an edge. It didn't look like he had an edge. I think Sean's going to have to go back up and down on this one. Problem is that two is kind of in his way, but... Solid hit. Ooh. Touch strong, or he would have got fortunate there. Burger. I'm sure uh, Paul's like, hey, thank you. I appreciate it for not sticking me behind that crap. Married to the 10. Yeah. It was possible there. Oh, absolutely. Playing the combo on the 7. Oof. Oh. Paul's turn. Said, let me get a roll. I like King's Hawaiian, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I swear those are the best rolls ever. Oh, my God. <laughs> Better than a roll on a table, dude. <laughs> oh. I don't think that that was the one ball. All right. 
go, Mr. Marquez. Float down. Give a slight angle on that dew so we can come back for the three. But it's still it's still workable. Patrick, don't tell him that. He'll be buying all the dang raffle tickets. Whoa, mama. Whoa. Oh. Oh, that's yeah, getting on your work. Yep. Fortunately that eight's hanging pretty good. I think he can combo it into it. But it's not easy. Looks like he's gonna be aiming to the side pocket here. Yep. Shoot, he might be aiming to the nine. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, it looks like he is. Yeah. Steep. Oh, wow. That was a good try. Lee, you told me pizza wasn't allowed here on Friday nights. <laughs> it's because I don't have I don't have pretty hair, huh? bit of an angle so we can float over for that six. Low left, I think. Yeah. Poor just, Whoa. Put, poor just put a stroke on it. A little bit more low than than left on that one. <laughs> Augie Alva, what's up, my guy? <coughs> We're at 105 viewers, folks. We appreciate you. I mean, 11 of us are in this building, but <laughs> <laughs> the 94 of you, we appreciate. Like, what a oh shot. Oh, my goodness. Good Lord. Painted that ball in there. tough. I wasn't sure if he was going to get shape on that eight or not. <laughs> <laughs> I wind up behind the nine ball on yeah. that shot. <laughs> oh, most of us know, Danny. Most of us know, man. That's why he's on the show. Fargo says these guys are even. Well, sometimes you just have a bad night. Hell, it happens to all of us. Yeah. We're all human. Good stroke. Good speed. Look at that. Making it look easy. Sean's definitely putting his time in. Marquez, it's time to come off the stall, bro. You got all the action you could get. Right there. 
The fish tank's done, bro. Well, the fish tank is 95% done. I will be uh, streaming matches shortly. Now it's just a matter of uh, scheduling games because my schedule is crazy. But I promise you, we're we're gonna get together and play some sets, bro. Plays a save. Looks like he got there. Thanks, JP. I'm a pretty big fan. I put a lot of work into that thing, man. For those that don't know, my I have a 125-gallon tank that literally sits right behind my inside uh, long rail of my of my nine foot. And so I told everybody, in order for me to stream matches on my table, I have to get my fish tank back in order. What a safe! Oh, don't do that to him. Hold up. Oh, what a shot. Wow. What a shot. Good man. Play the effing, bro. <laughs> Z shot? No, <laughs> bank, bank it off the rail and jump it over the six. Oh, <laughs> I can't see how much space he's got if he could actually make a jump shot over that six ball from where he's at. Yeah, he's got to jump it, right? No. Oh, that's a lot of traffic trying to go through. He's got to go straight down the rail, though, over the six. But yeah, he's choosing to kick it one rail. Putting a lot of spin on this so it grabs that rail. Good what a shot. shot. Somebody's been shot. watching Efren videos. And that's what you do when, you know, you have the skill and you don't need to jump it. Looking to hide the cue ball here. I think he sees an edge of it. Yeah, I think he's got a window. Oh, wow. Played a really good safety there. And the short cue's coming out. He's going to jump and kick into that long rail. Or can he see past the eight? Or the, excuse me, the, was that the four ball? I'm sorry, I'm attending to message it again blown up what oh, a shot what a hit all right Polly it's your table it looks relatively uh, clear from here Going behind the back. He's going to play the 5 8 combo. Sure, he's got a peek at that five. Mm. 
Hmm. You get that little stiff. Yeah, but it does play in the side as well as the corner. I think, I don't know if the scratch is there if he tries to roll forward. And cue ball's going for a ride. Yeah, Augie, unfortunately, the last three, you know, higher caliber player matches, uh, it has been pretty one-sided. Um, Daniel had two really strong wins in a row. And so far, this one's proven to be pretty one-sided. Uh, sometimes that's just the way it is, man. I mean, a lot of us know how well these guys play day-to-day, -day, but... For whatever reason, catch him on a bad one. It happens. Gives him a look at it. I know for me, the fewer balls on the table, the harder and harder it gets to try to play a safety. <laughs> oh, yeah. Me too, buddy. I think that goes for anybody, really. But he gave it a go. And unfortunately, it didn't get safe. Yeah, it leaked out from behind that 10 ball. Q speed, that's perfect. It's money. Right. Little draw here, come off the cushion. come off of the 7 and float down. He should be uh, damn near straight on the 10. Yeah. Oh, he opted to go the other way. Ooh. He wanted it in the side pocket anyways. Yeah, he's yeah. like, you know what? I'm tired of shooting it in the corner. <laughs> Sean Lewis is free rolling. Playing with house money at this point in time. Sophia Tran is in the building coming to visit us. Uh oh. <laughs> Telling everybody it's the Becky with the good hair match coming up next. <laughs> <laughs> the winner gets leave in conditioner and a bottle of detangler. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mr. Mitchell versus Ms. Farrell. Yeah. Ms. Farrell. Is Patrick wants to know why you don't have a mic. Steel Ed's mic, where you can no, have no, this one. No, 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 no. <laughs> Another solid break. Yeah. Cue ball travels ways, though. This has been a really hard match to watch. Yeah. Like, I, I just know that Paul doesn't shoot this way. Yeah, exactly. Like I said, most of us know that Paul doesn't play like this. 
and it's not a hundred percent that he's just dogging balls. I mean, the guy's gotten some pretty unfortunate roles, and it's tough to fade those. And you already got the pressure of knowing how well you play, and you're down a few games, and it just builds and builds, and it's hard to get out from under sometimes. You must be able to just see the edge of this. Cause a push. So, Lee Baldwin here. Thanks for watching. Uh, Sean Lewis is on the hill, and uh, and I'm gonna insist that I want to hear Sophia commentate a little bit, uh, please. I mean, we got one game left, okay. and and if Ed, you have something to say, just grab the mic. You can go back and forth. I'm good. <laughs> Ed's not in this conversation. He doesn't have any hair. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fact. So, next match coming up, the Vidal Sassoon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at Patrick trying to talk shit in there. I didn't have a choice. You picked your horses, bro. What a gentle touch on that, trying to play a safety, but he did. He did give him a whole ball view. Boy, how crazy would it be for him to just bank out right here and then just run the set out? Just. <laughs> I can see the future. Oh, that'd be so sick. All it takes is a little fire, right? For oh. real. Looking for a nudge. And I think he got there. I think that three ball swelled up. Huge separation and on the rail. I believe it's going to be a return of a safety here. Oh, no, Ooh, just he kidding. Was definitely going for it. Oh, well, that'll he, be option. I didn't think he had that whole thing. I did not either, to be honest. Okay. And I damn sure didn't expect him to hit it at Mach 40. <laughs> <laughs> you think this is a carom? Oh, sure was. It sure was. And he's got a pocket. <clears throat> Here's that fire. I'm telling you. It was nice to drive and hear the um, Seth Rogen podcast from between yeah. you two. <laughs> <laughs> we just try to have a good time. We can't play like these guys. So if we, if we can make you laugh, then fucking why not? <laughs> oh, how do you hit oh, that? Oh, my goodness. Beautiful. It's like, so, you know, I was thinking about getting right here. So I'm going to show you how to get <laughs> right here. In between two balls twice, passing them twice. And there he is there. Nice position to get back over to the six. Natural, right? Yep. Maybe a touch right if he chooses. Everyone be quiet. Don't jinx anything. Don't say anything. Don't think anything. I was just going to say, it, se <laughs> it seems that shh. Paul's, you shush. Paul's you hitting shush. him with confidence. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> there you go. That'll work. You know he's feeling it right now, so if that's what it takes, ugh, but still, just like you said, you got to stick with your fundamentals, right? Oh, yeah. Stay down. Most definitely. Bear down. 
I tend to be one to over exaggerate the bearing down and just stay down for too long. There you go. There you go. All right. Come on, Polly. Closing that gap a little bit more. String a spring a couple together. Mm hmm. What is it? Don't call it a comeback. Yeah, I just, I mean, there's a few people that I know in the chat that don't know how well uh, Paul plays. Mm -hmm. And so if he could give them a, a, you know, a glimpse, string, you know, six or seven racks together, I, th I think it'd be good to watch. <coughs> and I know what, it, what it's like, you know, I don't, I don't play as well as these guys, but I know that I... I know how well I can play, and when I don't, it's frustrating as hell. It's like, come on, let me just get it, shake this off. It can be disheartening. However, mm. that's part of the game, and when you're able to overcome that, the magic happens. Yeah, for sure. It definitely like makes more fun when makes the game more fun when the balls are going in for you. And when you're having those feelings, it reminds you that you are human. Yeah, most definitely. Well, he's got a shot here. Not too shabby of a break. He is eventually going to have to get from the 7 down to the 8. Good, gets above the two. That's nice there. The beauty of having that duck sitting there is you have so many rails that you can play. Yeah. Can get below it, above it. <coughs> right now, I assume he's just going to play a touch of inside. Come straight down the long rail. Just like that. Might now, is he going to care on this? Might have got just a little bit weak there. There's no, uh, no early tens. Oh, no early tens. Yeah. Well, okay. So, I mean, there is a pretty good opportunity here to play safe if he doesn't like the cut. But quite honestly, I mean, he's starting to get his rhythm. I think he's... He's think playing he's, safe. Yeah, I think... No, I, I disagree. I think he's playing to win here. Oh, I did not think it went. Mm. See, my eyes. My wide vision failed me there. Craig Duma was in the building. He wants a winner. What's up, Cray? I agree, Danny. You, you do need the rolls as well as, as well as the skills, man. It definitely helps. Ooh. That slowed up nicely. He got that in a nice position to get all the way down to the eight, just like you said. Is that going to be a little cut ski, or is that going to be a follow all the way down? Well, you can, I mean, if you follow it, you're getting on the short side. If you if you cut it, you're able to play, you know, you got a bigger fan for shape. For sure. And then if you do, <clears throat> you can just play a little bottom right off the 8, come up for the 9, stop, shoot the 10 in the corner. But, I mean, I don't always know what the hell I'm talking about. He cut it. But he heard me. Great stroke. There you go, buddy. Buckle down. That's Coach. Coach Marquez, right? No. Nope. Boom shakalaka. He made another little game here. Oh, wait. I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> you sh 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 sh. <laughs> Hush your mush. 
We want a Boom s- shakalaka, he we made want it. A, we want a sweater's delight. <laughs> That's the Paul Marquez most of us That's know. That's what I'm saying. Let's go, son. Do you believe in magic? <laughs> I mean, not really. There's lots of tips and tricks and tells on YouTube, so... <laughs> I mean, it all depends on the setup, yes. really. Stop it. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. Hey, I'm a realist, okay? Ignorance is bliss. Oh, I know you're a realist. <laughs> By Bill. Well, he's got to be feeling a little bit more comfortable. Obviously, he's trying to he's trying to fade the fact that he's down down by a good margin, but he but he's hitting the ball as well and confidently. So <laughs> he's got to ride that high. Nice break. Just barely missed the one on the side, but he does have shape. Can you see past the seven? I think so. Maybe. <laughs> I, mean, it might I be, think so. It might be closer Maybe. than I, it might be closer than I think. Uh oh. I mm, mm, getting the okay. bunny rabbit. And you know, that's a good choice here because the two is sitting pretty. It's got a lot of room on the table. And he only has to jump maybe a smidge of that, maybe a fifth of the seven. Great shot. Just pretty. He's feeling his oats now, folks. Another jumper. He does. Not, he's not gonna like this. Definitely not gonna like that. He is gonna jump it though. Playing the six, I imagine. Safe. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good hit. Oh gosh. He, uh, a little? I think so. Yeah, but this is a pretty easy pretty easy safe pretty here easy for safe him game. to just roll up on the ten. Sean's a smart player. He he's going to think this through. He's not he's not aggressive. Not that I know. What's up, Scotty? How you doing tonight, brother? And sometimes here's a chance for him to slow down his opponent. Yeah, agreed. That's exactly what I expected. Six ball. As Ed said, he's got a two rail kick at it, but uh, actually <laughs> I'll play the four on the side. Calls a four on the side. Oh. Just barely missed it. Well, Unfortunately, the way Sean's been playing tonight, pretty good chance of getting out here. Doesn't really have any trouble. No. He's got a huge open table. There's so much space there to get to the seven. You have to put a little bit of zip on this ball. Stay tuned for the yo-yo string. (laughs) 
one trick someone told me when it comes to drawing, just pretend you're like water. Pretend you're fluid. That's weird, because when somebody told me about drawing, they said, dude, just stick to stick figures. <laughs> <laughs> Still got to hit this seven ball good. A good amount of distance there. Mm -hmm. And he does. Mm, just like that. Comes off the rail nicely. It's going to put him out in the center of the table. Play the nine in the corner. Roll forward. Ten in this corner. Lights out, kids. How's he hitting this one, though? I'm just going to hit center ball. Nice and easy? Yeah. Coast out? Yep. Yeah. He's aiming pretty low. Well, he chose to stun it to keep make sure the ball stayed there. Now I'm assuming he's gonna stun it just a touch of draw, play the ten in the same same corner. Just like you said, same same shot pretty much. Just like that, folks. Flawless. He mortal combated this match. Yeah. I'd say that's enough, bro. Well played, Sean Lewis. Well played. Tough night for Paul Marquez. Yeah, Sean put on a pretty good show there. He played really well, had good cue ball control the whole way. Yeah, I did too. I just didn't kind of play the show. My emotions got to me or something. Yeah, I thought it was going to be closer than that, but as we said, everybody has an off day here and there. Hey, man, sometimes you're the bug, sometimes you're the windshield. <laughs> That's the way it works. Uh, <laughs> sure. Well, getting ready to do some interviews, I think, here. It's not too late. Get your raffles. Wow, wow, get a lesson wow. from what Sean a great Lewis. Match. Uh, I learned a lot from watching both players and you can too. I'm going to I'm going to ask to have a word with Sean Lewis first if I could. Um, wow. So you can learn a lesson from this guy tonight. Uh, you really kind of put on a clinic, brother. I am impressed uh, talk about what what went on, what you thought of the match and how how did you get so good? <laughs> Uh, well, I was just trying to keep it simple as much as possible. Um, you know, I was feeling pretty good about pocketing balls, so I just was going for most of it. But it's when I got a little out of line, I was trying to play good safeties and just try to control them. Because Paul seemed like he was playing a little bit nervous, so I just tried to capitalize on that. Um, it seemed to work, you know, keep, come back at the end, but not quite enough, you know. Um, yeah, I mean, other than that. I don't have much to say. I was pretty happy to play as well as I did, really, honestly. Well, Cray Dumo challenged. He said, can I get winner? And I said, that doesn't sound Cray Cray at all. We could make that happen. What, what do you feel about that? Sure, I'll play. Love it. We've got future action. Thank you, Sean Lewis. Yeah. I really appreciate you. You looked great on the camera. Paul Marquez. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, to be fair, you you might have even looked even better. I, I mean, you 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 you're, you're a great guy. You drove all the way from Oregon, yeah. and I mean, you had some jet lag, car lag. What, what? No, I just didn't play well. My, you know, I haven't really been in competition. Sean, first of all, outplayed me. He would have beat me even if I was playing well. So it was just too bad that I didn't really play well. I was kind of short stroking things at the beginning. I think I'm out of practice from competition. From, COVID and everything, you know, but, but Sean really, he would have beat me at my top game, so, you know what I mean, it's it's too bad I didn't play well, but that's okay, and, uh, you know, if anybody wants to bet a lot on Craig, just call me, because I'm betting on Sean. I, I like your I like your style, and uh, again, can you, can we just get a, we're giving away a hoodie tonight, um, where is that, is that the hoodie right there? Uh, I put it away, put it away. I dog it with the hoodie, and then I put jam up on it, I dogged it worse. So I have to say FTMF is better than Jam Up. <laughs> but uh, no, I love Damien, you know what I mean? Um, uh, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, get you a, we'll get you a nice FTMF hoodie uh, for the raffle. We got blue. Just call, just get a hold of me. I'm easy to find. I'm, you know, I'm kind of a pool slut. So uh, no offense to Sean, he's slutty too. But um, 
Yeah, man, just get a hold of me. Uh, Kirsten Marquez has a has a Facebook. That's my wife, uh, Mike Deichman. You know, that's my buddy. And uh, just get a hold of him. We'll get you a, a hoodie. Whoever wins. And if and if you want to buy one, it was a really cool hoodie. Yeah, yeah. And we want to have you back, brother. Believe me. Yeah, uh, you're, yeah, yeah. You're, you're a great ca- pool character, and, and I love your game. <laughs> and, I love your character. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, it's uh, it's hard. You know, what I mean, to uh, to 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 play well and uh, and feel the pressure. And then Sean put it on me right in the beginning, and he got real loose. So it was hard to come back. I'm glad that I played okay in a couple racks there at the end because I was really feeling tight. But you know, that's that's pool. You know, you can't. You know, you, you, you can't give up. You just got to keep coming back. So I'll be back. All right, brother. All right. Thank you so much. And uh, coming up next, we have got Sophia Tran versus Aaron Moss. Uh, nine ball race to seven. They This is the rubber match, you guys. They went Hill Hill the first match. I think it might have been Hill Hill the second match. But tonight they're settling it on. 